All right, to start off this look, I had some contacts in, and these are some purple contact lenses from Rainbow New York. Kick off the look with this vanilla eyeshadow from Maybelline, and I always use this to line my waterline for some white eyeliner because I'm going to want my eyes to look really big and kind of like unnatural. I mean, I know angels are supposed to be natural looking, but this is a Halloween tutorial, so we want to emphasize the eyes. I'm also just going to be taking like any little white shimmering pencil. I don't know where, where I got this from. I just found it in my makeup bag and I'm just going to be highlighting under the brow bones and in the inner corners. It's just going to be a base. So use anything that you'd like. All right, next, this is the Maybelline Eye Studio Eyeshadow Palette in Copper Chic. I'm going to be putting this color, which is a pinkish red copper color, and I'm going to be putting this in my crease and also in my outer V area, leaving the middle untouched. I like to do that for a look where I'm gonna be highlighting the middle. Then I'm gonna be taking a different blending brush and also blending out that eyeshadow. I take my time blending out this eyeshadow because we do not want it to look harsh. You are an angel. I'm also going to take the white shimmering eyeshadow that comes with it, it's more of a champagne color, and putting this in the part where we left untouched in the middle. Taking a darker brown, I'll be putting this right over the outer V area to just darken that up, but it still has that really nice, delicate, coppery champagne red color, a rose gold. That's like the perfect way to describe it. Okay, also moving on, this is a Victoria's Secret eyeshadow in Silver Dust. Well, it's a, like a dust shadow. They don't really necessarily call it an eyeshadow. And I'm going to be placing this in the center of my eyelids, on my inner corner and underneath my brow bones, hitting every single highlighted area. Then going back with that brown eyeshadow, I'm going to make sure to fill in that outer V because we did lose some color. Then taking this Maybelline Eye Studio Color Explosion Eyeshadow Palette. This palette is called Caffeine Rush. I'm going to take the gold shimmering eyeshadow at the top and I'm going to be placing this in the inner corner over that white shimmering eyeshadow we had earlier. Going back into that Copper Chic Palette, I'm going to take that same reddish gold color and place it in the outer corners of my lower lash line and then take this the darker color next to it and also be blending that out with a blending brush. For liner, I'm going to take my Cila Stay All Day Liquid Pen, which is my favorite liquid eyeliner of all time. And also, when I'm done with that, I'm just going to be curling my lashes with my Sephora eyelash curler and then be using my voluminous, my L'Oreal Voluminous Mascara, Butterfly Mascara, just to prep my eyelashes for falsies. Okay, for the fun part, I picked up these lashes at a Spirit Halloween store. They're just regular lashes with some sparkles on them. They already had some glue on it, but I felt like the band was too thick, and it's still a little thick. The lashes look a bit loose, but I'm going to be putting this black liquid liner over that band so it doesn't look as crazy. You'll, you will still see the glue throughout the video. That's because it takes forever to dry. Okay, for the fun part, again, I'm just going to take these gems that I always use for to stick on my face and these are from Walgreens and I love it it just gives this really cool look it dazzles it up especially with sparkles that are already in these bold lashes so those are the completed eyes so then I'm gonna take that same silver dust eyeshadow eyeshadow to use as a highlight I'm just gonna be putting that on my cheek area down the bridge of my nose and on my chin going with this it's really like almost white pink blush is from the elf palette elf cheeks and lips and all that good stuff I'm gonna put that as my blush it gives this super super blushing pink I don't even know how to explain it it just makes you look so innocent I'm gonna be prepping my lips for lip gloss and lipstick with this lip balm because my lips do get very dry even with gloss then I'll be taking this Revlon Color Burst Lip Butter in the color Sugar Frosting. It's this nude pink and I think it looks perfect with this look, very angelic. Then to top off the lip color, I'm going to be taking this Victoria's Secret Lip Brilliant Shine, something like that. It'll be listed down below and it's called Undress and the makeup is complete. 
Here's the costume, you guys. I just wore a simple white dress. Something kind of conservative conservative, because you are an angel. Yeah, you don't want to mess with that. I'm keeping this conservative. That's why you're an angel. I'm ke just keeping this really conservative because you are an angel. This is the completed look, you guys. New tutorials will be coming up next week. These have been all pretty simple and pretty. So I'm going to try and incorporate more difficult, scarier looks. So I hope you guys stay tuned. Please subscribe. I love you all and see you in my next video. Bye!